Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zayo from Carnuba Detailing. Hoping you're all having a wonderful day, just like always. This little sign you're looking at right now is going to be receiving our Stage 1 Ceramic Coating Service. But before we do that, we do have to go ahead and take care of some headlight restoration first. Now, this vehicle does have some area, other areas that need to be addressed, such as plastic trim pieces. And, you know, there are some areas as well that have kind of bit the dust with all the sun and UV rays, such as this black piano trim over here that we can't really do too much about. Out. Um, but we're going to go ahead and focus on the headlight restoration today and in a separate video I'm going to show you the ceramic coating and paint correction process. So the first thing you want to do is just a quick wipe down of the headlights themselves. Just get any kind of bug guts or gunk off the surface of the headlight so it doesn't adhere when it comes to your wet sanding process. Um, you don't have to do a complete wash. I just stick to wiping down the headlights first. And um, make sure you do the headlights first because this process does get really messy whether you wet sand or dry sand. Either way, it's going to be messy. So make sure you dress the headlights first before washing your vehicle. After that, guys, we're going to go ahead and tape up the surrounding areas of the headlights. Um, on this vehicle specifically, there are no plastic trim we have to worry about, but we do have to worry about the paint itself on the vehicle. I don't care how good you are at wet sanding, dry sanding, or polishing a vehicle. Do use tape when you have the chance. In this scenario, I'm using 3M's Automotive Green Tape. I'll leave a link in the description below. Really like this stuff. A bit pricey. Comes at around $6 a roll, but very flexible and very durable, especially when you're wet sanding in areas such as this. Um, taping is an art, just like polishing is. I'm not the best at it, really trying to improve, but it is something I really want to master, so I do try to take my time with it, and whenever I get a chance, I practice taping vehicles as well, so I think you should do the same thing. It does get difficult at first, but it gets easier later down the line. After that, guys, we are going to go ahead and start our wet sanding process. Go ahead and soak the headlight itself, just with distilled water, no quick detail or anything needed, and then go ahead and utilize your wet sanding paper. I got mine um, wrapped around a magic eraser you could use any type of block or wet sanding block um, it's your preference I just like the magic eraser because it does hold a bit of moisture when you dump it in your water and um, that helps out a lot with the wet sanding process so go ahead straight line motions you're gonna be going left and right and then up and down make sure you cover all the areas of the headlight itself you are gonna see this white kind of milky chalky residue appear throughout the wet sanding process that's perfectly fine guys it's just the old clear coat being removed and also maybe some plastic as well that's being rubbed off throughout the wet sanding process make sure you're lubricating the headlight itself as well throughout this whole process too you don't want to dry sand especially if you're putting a lot of pressure down because you will leave grooves inside the headlight if you do put too much pressure and there's not enough lubrication so guys, I start off with 1000 grit in this case. You can start off even at 800, but this headlight wasn't that bad. Um, so I started off at 1000, moved up to 1500, and then moved up to 2000 grit wet sandpaper. I do see some individuals go up to 3000 grit sandpaper. You can do that as well, but I'm going to show you a little trick that I use to speed up the process a bit. Now, as you can see, I want to get this headlight completely uniform and consistent with the marring from the sandpaper. And as you saw there, there were some patchy areas that I addressed with the 1000 and 1500. Um, but after that, guys, one extra step that I like taking is using KXK sticks to go ahead and do some edge work around the headlights because it is kind of difficult sometimes times to get a block in there that's very large and as you can see there's still some excess clear coat over there on the edges you want to remove all the clear coat off the headlight so you can go ahead and coat it yourself afterwards and restore it completely so um, just make sure when you're using the sticks or any kind of smaller pad with the wet sandpaper um, you're not digging in that much because you are working with a smaller surface area meaning there's more pressure on the sandpaper so do it gently do it lightly you don't want to leave any major grooves and as you can see guys it is a big mess afterwards everything gets really nasty so this is why you want to do this process first and again guys here's my little trick to speed up the process rather than going from 2000 to 3000 grit I just go ahead and grab a heavy cut wool pad in this scenario I'm using buff and shine and then I go ahead and utilize a heavy cut compound in this scenario I'm using lat 26's heavy cut boat gel coat compound now if you've ever worked on gel coat and when it's oxidized or you're trying to remove any type of marring or scratching off gel coat you do really need a very very 
very powerful compound to do that. So any type of gel coat compound is going to be way too much for any automotive paint, but it works great when it comes to headlights and speeding up the process. Um, if you do go from 2000 all the way up to the heavy cut compound, you'll notice that you restore the gloss and shine pretty well. But after that, I take it a step further and then just polish it out with a lighter cut polish. You can use M205 or any type of light cut polish or finishing polish to go ahead and restore that maximum gloss to the surface of the headlight. It's a pretty easy process, guys. It does take a few minutes to go ahead and complete this, but take it step by step and you'll master it in no time. But that pretty much wraps up the restoration process. Now to go ahead and protect these headlights after you restore them, you can use anything from a sealant to ceramic coating to actually applying clear coat again. I personally use ceramic coatings. I think that's the best option. They last a few years just like a clear coat does, but they're much easier to apply. But as you can see, amazing results just from a few minutes on these headlights, guys. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions, and like always, thank you so much for watching my video. Really appreciate it.